Good evening, happy Tuesday, and welcome to the first Instagram Live of 2020. Oh my goodness, it feels like I have been away for forever, literally like for forever. So for anybody that usually joins me on my Tuesday night live, you will know it's not very often that I miss a live. But it just so happens that the last two Instagram lives were on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And like, as much as I love Instagram, and I know you guys love Instagram, I don't know if you really wanna be listening to me on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve when you've got a house full of excited kids. And I suppose excited adults on New Year's Eve. So it's really, really good to be back. And we have got a really, really good live to come back with for the first of a new decade. So for anybody who hasn't joined me before or for any of you that have joined me before, say hello and let me know, are you watching me from your living room? Are you watching me from your workspace? Are you hiding in the toilet? Where in the world are you watching me from? First and foremost, because we are now in over 200 locations around the world. And this is just with our networking events, our Facebook and social media community, literally spread across the globe. So we would love to know whereabouts are you watching us from? I can see different little flags popping up over here on Instagram. So as always, you guys over here are watching me on Facebook, or you could be watching me on YouTube because all of my Tuesday night lives are saved and then they took over to YouTube so you can watch them back at any point. So all of the things that we talked about over the last year, you can head on over to YouTube, go subscribe to our channel. You can find all of our videos over there. There is like so much content. It is fun, flipping real. You guys over here are, as always, joining me on Instagram, my favorite platform, what we are all here to learn about tonight. So if you are a newbie and you've never ever been to one of my Instagram lives, you have no idea who I am or what I'm going to talk about. Let me explain a little bit about who I am and why I'm here with you all tonight. My name is Estelle Kieber. I am one of the co-founders of Mums in Business Association, which is an incredible organization. Our Facebook community has hit over 50,000 people now. That means there is 50,000 incredible women in a Facebook group all waiting to connect with you. So if you are not in our Facebook community, you guys over here on Instagram, you need to head on over there. And hello to everybody over here in the world of Facebook. You can share out tonight's live, okay? Whether you're watching on Facebook, whether you're watching on Instagram, whether you're watching this on YouTube, you can still share it out. We are going to be talking about a decade of Instagram. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks with you all on the most popular things that you guys have been asking me about over the last year. And it ties in really nicely with the blog that I put out today, which was 40 facts about Instagram that you really need to know. So we're gonna to be touching on a few of those tonight. We are gonna be talking about your audience, hashtags, consistency, sales, Instagram stories. We are gonna be talking about the whole lot. I wanted to bring it with a bang for the first Instagram Live of the year. So if you know somebody, who wants to know more about Instagram or wants to learn how to use Instagram for their business, share this with them, invite them to the live because there is gonna be so much value given tonight. It's gonna to be the best live of the year. I have a feeling, the first one, let's make it the best of the year. So hello to everyone who is joining me. I can see you all jumping on over here on Facebook. Hello to everyone over here on Instagram. I can see loads and loads of flags popping up. So I know that you're all watching me from all over the place, which is absolutely awesome. So what's been happening since the last time that I've seen you all? Like I said, it seems like it has been forever since I was here doing an Instagram Tuesday night live. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be sat here in the chair. It's like, what's that hot, what's the, what's the program called? Mastermind. I feel like I'm back in the mastermind chair and ready to share some Instagram tips with you all. But it's been insane. So even though I've not been here doing my lives, there's been so much going on behind the scenes at MIBA HQ. So for anybody that hasn't been watching, we released two books in December 
both of them went to number one on Amazon, okay? Two books. So we had Rise of the Mumpreneur, and we also had Tanya Taylor's Sparkly Moments, 30 Days of Amazing. Both of them you can go and get on Amazon. They went to number one. Absolutely awesome, awesome books. And I know that loads of you got them in your stockings this Christmas. So, you know, nice way to start the year for you guys. We've also got the book launch coming up for Rise of the Mumpreneur. So the book that we just got to number one. Let me see if I can grab one for you. Oh, sorry there. That was a little bit of a blurry shot. Here it is. This is Rise of the Mumpreneur. We have the book launch for this bad boy happening on the 21st. I think it is the 21st of January. All the authors will be coming together. We will be having a absolutely awesome launch party. If you would like to come along and join us, you can still get tickets. I will make sure I pop them into the comments on Facebook. You guys over here on Instagram, you can go and check out everything that I'm talking about on the website. There will be tickets there for everything. So please, if you would like to come along, go grab your tickets, show the authors some support, bring along your book. I will be there. Unfortunately, Leona is in the States, so she won't be there with us, but I will be there. <coughs> and it's going to just be, you know, a bit of a movie get together with a few drinks and, you know, it's going to be all levels of fun. So really excited about that. That has been happening. I've been recording loads of podcasts. So Leona is doing Jumping January, which is a podcast series. One is going to come out every single day of January. So that is so worth going to check out. There are so many amazing people already been featured in the podcast. So keep an eye out for those. I have my 100 podcasts of 2020. That is my goal. I've already started recording them. So if you know anyone, that would like to feature me on their podcast sharing my inspirational journey and Instagram tips, get in touch, tag them in the comments, share this live with them because I want to get in touch with them. I want to share my tips with as many people as I can and hit 100 podcasts in 2020. Just what it says on the tin. What else have we been getting up to? We have been working really hard on the VIP. So for anybody that doesn't know what the VIP is, it's a very special area where there's loads of bite-sized trainings. So it's been close for a couple of months. When it reopens, there's going to be 40 different trainings in there, okay? You can get your hands on these trainings. So as always, we do a giveaway on here for Facebook and Instagram. We are going to do a giveaway so you can get access to VIP, okay? The way that you can get access and win your way in is to share tonight's live, okay? Not only do you have to share it, but you have to share a screenshot as well. So you need to share this live. You can do this on Instagram by pressing the little arrow button underneath. You can share this into an inbox with your friends. You guys over here on Facebook, you can share it. You know how you, you know how it works on Facebook. Hit the share button, decide who you want to share it with. Let us know when you've shared it. Take a screen grab. Please don't grab ugly screen grabs of me, please. When I pull faces like that, I just know that Laura is waiting to take an ugly screen grab. But I want you to then share it with us, tag us at Mums in Business Association, at Estelle Keeper Official, and we will pick one lucky winner at random to win access to the VIP when it reopens at the end of January. 40 different trainings, absolutely amazing. Three new guest expert collections going in in January. So you've got 40 plus another at least three. So there's like so much in there, it's crazy. So if you would like to win your way in, make sure that you have shared tonight's live and took a screenshot, shared it with us. We will pick one winner at random. And don't forget, we will also be doing another giveaway at the end of tonight's live. I could tell you a little bit of like, shall I tell you a little bit about what that's gonna be about? So not only have we been working on the VIP, we've also been working on a brand new training called making this year your best year yet okay for anybody that's done any of our other challenges it is going to take place in a private facebook community it's 10 pounds to join the training it happens over seven days but once you join the group you get to stay in there for two weeks after the training's done you get a video every single day that will explain to you how to set goals how to strategically plan your year out so that you're hitting your goals and all of this is done with this bad boy so the training is based around this okay this is the mums in business association planner you can get it on amazon it has everything that you could possibly need in there i was laughing when we were recording the training i actually use my planner 
So when we were recording the training, I was having to like hide bits because like our secrets, our MIBA secrets are in here. So I've had to hide it with my hand. But there is so much stuff in here. Meal trackers, planners, financial planners, you name it, it's in there. And the training is based around that. So that's been going on behind the scenes as well. If you would like to sign up to that, I again will get a link put into Facebook. If anybody's watching, if any of our coordinates are watching, then please drop a link into there for the planner training. And you guys over here on Instagram can go and check it out using the link in bio. Everything that we offer is in there, VIP, trainings, YouTube links, and today's blog. So like I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to be talking about a decade of Instagram, okay? If you haven't shared the live out yet, you need to share this out. Share it with your team. Share it with your coordinator area. Share it with your friends. Share it with your business besties. Whoever you know that uses Instagram needs to watch this live tonight, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. So in today's blog, or in this week's blog, it is called 40 Facts of Instagram. No, let's start again. The blog is called Instagram, a decade of Instagram, 40 facts you need to know. There we go, I got there in the end. So I have listed 40 different facts that I think that you need to know to grow your Instagram. Now this is not strategies, we're not talking tips and tricks. I'm giving you 40 goddamn real tips, no, tips, facts. I'm giving you the facts, that's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you 40 facts, okay? And what I've done is based tonight's live, around the blog. So if you want to go and find out more about what I'm talking about, you can go on over to the blog after tonight's live, okay? So one of the first facts that I'm going to share with you. So these are all based on things that I've been asked over the space of the last year. I get asked a lot of questions, a lot of questions about the same sort of things. So I thought that I would pick out my favorite facts and I would share them with you. And of course, I will be doing a question and answer session. So if you have a question, you would like me to answer then please drop it into the comments and I will do my best to go through them at the end okay so even if you post a comment now I will still try and go back to it at the end does anybody over here on Instagram who would like to join me live live as in live video video so lots of people jump on and they're like oh my god I didn't know it was gonna be live and I'm on camera you will be live actual live asking me a question on air so the first tip the first tip is because I'm always here giving you tips. The first fact I want to give to you all is the age of people, the, the, the biggest demographic of people on Instagram are aged between 25 and 34. Okay, so when you're thinking about your audience, this is really, really important. Okay, when you are using Instagram, you need to think about who is the audience that you want to connect with. Okay, because if you're on Instagram and you don't know, who you, who you want to connect with. You're just aimlessly like throwing out content, not even thinking of who it is that you want to connect with. So it's really, really important that you know who your audience are. So if your target audience is aged between 25 and 34, you need to be on Instagram. This is where they are hanging out. And for anybody that's been watching over Christmas, I've also joined TikTok. Yes, you heard me right. I joined TikTok. Leona has been going on at me for weeks and weeks and weeks and telling me, you need to get on TikTok. You're going to love it. I was like, I am not down with the kids. It's like a really new millennial thing. Like I'm only 37. I think I'm quite young, but it's all like kids. It's like Jed's age and Layla's age and they're all like dancing. And so when I was thinking, this is never going to work for me. And then I realized I'd been listening to Gary V. You know, Leona is like, Gary B, Gary B's, Gary B's biggest fan. I can't even get my words out tonight. She is Gary V's biggest fan, and she's always going on at me. You need to go and watch him. You need to go and watch him. So the other day, I sat and watched him for a bit, and he was saying about how using the platform, even if your target audience isn't there, the skills that you learn by using that platform are transferable. Okay, so for me. I'm thinking, well, our target audience isn't on TikTok, okay? It's full of kids doing funny videos and all that sort of thing. Now, let me tell you, that is not true. There are some older people, our age demographic, on TikTok as well. They're just like me. They don't know really how to use it, but they are on there. But rather than me going straight in there and thinking, right, I'm going to throw loads of content out and I'm going to share all these things to do with Instagram, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to go in and I'm going to have a little play around and I'm going to see what I can do on it. 
So I started sharing like some funny stuff out. Like we did a little dance on Christmas Day at the in-laws house, first Christmas with the in-laws and we got them on TikTok. And you know, I've just been practicing and, and trying little things out. And for me, it's about learning how to, to do it and I'm learning new skills. So this is the thing that you need to remember with Instagram. You're learning, even if you're not really using it for business right now, every time you're using it, you're learning, okay? So even if your age demographic isn't on <clears throat> TikTok, like I said, ours isn't, our like, target audience is aged between like 23 and 45. They're on Facebook and they're on Instagram and we know this. But at the end of the day, that's not going to stop us from creating content for TikTok and also learning how to use those features. Because let me tell you, those features are actually working out really well in Instagram as well. So the skills are transferable. So fact number one, age demographic for Instagram is 25 to 34. If your target audience is aged between that age bracket, you need to be on Instagram. Fact number two, 12 points. No. Fact number two, let's start again. Fact number two, posts with at least one hashtag get 12.6% more engagement. Let's talk hashtags. Who else gets absolutely baffled by hashtags? I know there are loads and loads of people out there that just don't get hashtags. First of all, the simplest solution that I am going to give you is the MIBA hashtag directories. For anybody that is thinking, oh my God, I don't know what hashtags to use, MIBA have two hashtag directories. Inside there, there are 1,500 hashtags in each. They're broken down into 65 categories. So when you go to Instagram and you're thinking, I don't know what, what hashtags to use, we always recommend that you use hashtags that are related to your content and talk about you and your business, okay? If you're someone that struggles with hashtags, press the love heart button and show me. Like you've got one on like Instagram, you can press and hold it. Over here on Facebook, you might have to manually tap. But either way, let me know if I need to talk some more about hashtags. So just giving you a few facts. You can use 30 hashtags on every single Instagram post. Now I've been doing a little bit of research over the last couple of weeks. And I've put right down on the number of hashtags that I've been using. So somebody um, did a report or a blog post that I read, and it said that the optimum amount of hashtags you should be using is around 10 or 11. So for the last month or so, I've been using 10 or 11-ish hashtags. Let me tell you, it didn't increase my likes. It didn't increase my engagement. So I am sticking with what I said, and like, you know, I will always stick with it. I won't tell you something until I've actually tried it myself. So the thing about hashtags in the caption or hashtags in the comments, you know, I'm not just gonna tell you, oh, well, this is what I do, so do it this way. I know because I've tried it, it doesn't matter whether you put them in the comments or you put them in the caption, either way, they are going to work the same. <clears throat> I've just seen someone pop up saying, I've found about five or 10 hashtags and it did help me. There are hashtags for every single niche of business you could possibly think of. And as a special treat, we are also putting in hashtag directory number three into the VIP area. So you can get all of the hashtag directories for free in the VIP, but it's not open yet. The VIP doesn't open until the end of January, but you can go and buy the hashtag directories on their own, okay? So we're gonna be throwing in hashtag directory number three. So if you have some ideas for what you would like to see in hashtag directory number three, if you've looked at one and two, and we haven't covered what your business niche is, then please let me know and I will provide hashtags for that. And basically you can just go over to the hashtag directories, you look at what sort of things you're posting about. So if you're posting about fitness, there's some hashtags for fitness. If you're posting about beauty, um, there's literally, uh, there's over 100, I think there's 130 different categories. So obviously I've not covered every single thing in the world because there's only 130 categories in there. But let me tell you, there are a lot of, there's a lot of hashtags. There's like 3000 hashtags. So I guarantee you will find something that you are looking for. Serena has just said sexual empowerment. Yes, we can definitely add that into hashtag directory number three. So hashtags, tip number two is to make sure you're using them. Because the fact, fact number two, is that if you use at least one hashtag, your engagement will increase by at least 12.6%. Okay, 
are we ready for fact number three? In fact number three, we're talking consistency, okay? So people come to me and say, what, like, what sort of pictures should I post on Instagram? The most important thing is to like remain consistent, okay? Most people use one filter over their whole Instagram, okay? Don't pick different filters out because this is what will give your page like that like bibbity bobbity like look, okay? It won't look consistent. So first of all, make sure that you are using the same filter across every single picture. That will instantly help with making your feed look more consistent. You don't even have to change the pictures. You just need to make sure that you are using the same filter consistently the whole way through your feed, through, through, through your feed. I don't even know what's going on with me tonight. I am so excited. I've got so much excitement within me. The words just won't come out. So bear with me, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is sales on Instagram. This is something huge that loads and loads of people ask me about. And you can go and find a whole training for this in the website, making sales on Instagram, okay? It was our last challenge that we did at the end of last year, a seven-day group challenge again. So all of the videos were recorded for the private group are now available as a standalone training and seven videos talk you through how to make sales on Instagram okay so if you want to learn more about making sales you can go and check that out but the fact that I want to share with you is 72% of Instagram users have bought something from the platform more and more people are buying through Instagram so if you have a product you need to have it on there. You can make sales, whether you are a product-based business, whether you are a service-based business, okay? I know Danielle Holmes is watching. Danielle Holmes from Black Nova Designs, shout out to her. She is a sponsor for our MIBA, our MIBA SMS, our MIBA Awards. I think both, actually. She's absolutely awesome, and she runs the company Black Nova Designs, okay? So she is a website-developing company. It isn't a product-based business. She doesn't have physical pictures to put onto Instagram to sell. But let me tell you, I know that she sold out her biggest sale ever using Instagram stories alone, okay? That is a fact. She's on the live right now, and I know that she is going to write in there that, like, she smashed it, absolutely. Smashed it out of the water. And this was on Instagram, and she isn't even service-based. So don't let it put you off. If you're service-based, you can still be making sales on Instagram, okay? I don't even know what fact number we're at now, but we're going to talk about being relatable, okay? So, for those of you that don't like sharing your face onto Instagram, you're not going to like this fact, okay? Faces, pictures with faces on, get 38% more likes than anything else. So, when I'm telling you all the time, it's really, really important to put yourself out there. It's not just on like a business level. It's not just for me to say, you know, people need to learn to relate to you. It's for an engagement reason as well. It's really important. People love selfies. And I guarantee if you share a selfie into your Instagram feed, talk a bit about yourself. Talk about tonight's live. I challenge you, okay? Go and post a picture of yourself. Tell everyone it's an experiment. I am making you do it because you wanna see if this post gets more engagement than any other post. It's a brilliant way for you to put yourself out there to introduce yourself to more people. This is not just about engagement. Yes, we wanna see an increase in engagement, but also sharing that real authentic side is what is gonna make you stand out, okay? There was a podcast drop today with um, King of Network Marketing, Rob Sperry. He asked me to be a guest on his podcast a few weeks ago. This is another one of my 100 podcasts in 2020, and it went out today, and we were talking about how you can make yourself stand out, okay? Rob is in network marketing. He knows like everything about everything to do with, with network marketing, but what he struggled with was Instagram, and this is why he brought me onto the podcast, because he wanted me to teach his listeners how they can use Instagram. In network marketing, you tend to all be selling the same thing. And it doesn't matter really, even if you're not in network marketing, you're going to find people who sell the same things that you do. So it's really important that you make yourself stand out. And you do this by just sharing the real authentic you. Like my kids were laughing the other day. If you've not checked out my TikTok, you need to go and like go check it out. 
I did um, a video the other day of me in my Christmas onesie, okay? It's not very often you see me with my hair done and a bit of makeup on. Like, I am so much more comfortable with not a scrap on, hair up in a bun, and my onesie on. And for anybody that joined me before Christmas, you will have seen I did a couple of Christmas lives. I did them in my onesie because that's me. And that's the thing. When you go to my TikTok, you're still going to see it's me. You're going to see it's that, like, little geeky one with the hoodie on that doesn't like to wear makeup, that wears her onesie all the time. It's consistent. Whether you go to my Facebook, my Instagram, my LinkedIn, my TikTok now, you can still see it's that same me behind every single social media platform. And that's what people want to see from you. They want to know who you are. And, and sharing yourself on Instagram is the best way that you can do that. The final tip that I'm going to share with you all is going to be about Instagram stories because I am always, for the last year, I have been going on and on and on about Instagram stories and they are going to be the biggest thing going. Let me tell you, there are so many things to come in 2020. Instagram have got like loads of things up their sleeve. But let me just tell you, you heard it here first. They're bringing a TikTok feature to Instagram stories. Can I get some love for that one? Like manual tap, press the heart, whatever you want to do. Who is excited about the new video features that are coming to Instagram stories? Instagram story content is consumed so much faster, so much more content is consumed through stories than anything else. On the main feed, people have to scroll, they have to read. Instagram stories is so fast. It's so easy for you to create so that other people can get to see about you, your product, your service, all of your content. Instagram stories are the place to be this year. So, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you would like to win a very special prize, you need to be sharing out a screenshot from tonight's live. You need to have shared the live. You need to share a screenshot of the live as well. Let me know what was your best like fact from tonight. What did you learn? What was your biggest takeaway from tonight's live? Share a screenshot into your Instagram stories. Make sure that you tag us because when you tag other people, it gives them the chance to share it out. So if you tag me tonight and you let me know how amazing my first live of 2020 was, I am then going to share it into my Instagram stories, which means you are going to be seen by my audience. It raises your visibility, okay? So not only am I teaching you to raise your visibility tonight, I'm giving you the chance to win access to VIP for free by sharing an Instagram story. So you're learning you're being engaging, you're interacting all at the same time just by sharing an Instagram story and you could win your way into VIP. What more could you ask for? Well, I can give you more. I can give you more, okay? Would you like to win your way into the training that I've been talking about? Making this year your best year yet. Who would like to win access to the free trip to the free training no it's not a free training but you one of you is going to get it for free if you win today's competition and i'm going to tell you how you can do so in a moment because i need to scroll through some of these questions so if you have a question now is the time to drop it to me and when i've answered your questions i'm going to come back and i'm going to tell you how you can win your way into the planner training if you've already bought it we will refund you if you win okay so bear with me while I go through the questions. I really should have got myself some water before I started because I've been talking so much. My mouth is really dry. <clears throat> so let's have a look. I am not knowing. I didn't see any. Well, I did see the comments coming through, but I didn't read any of the comments. So everyone is saying they're sharing. Good. If you have shared, you are in with the chance of winning access to the MIBA VIP. It opens on the 31st of January. So you will get yourself free access if you have shared tonight's live somebody has just said oh i say somebody it's it must be leona leona is on leona is on the mibber account mibber has just said i can't believe we got you on tiktok yes sister you got me on tiktok and to be fair it's quite addictive i sit there scrolling through i tell jed off all the time i'm like stop watching tiktok and then i sit there you know like you sit on the toilet and you're like five minutes peace you start scrolling through tiktok the next thing you've been there 10 minutes and the kids are starved to death yeah that's totally me Gary V is the man. Danielle Holmes is saying she can't wait to see me at the book launch in two weeks. So 
This is the book launch. For those of you joining us late, this is the book launch for Rise of the Mumpreneur. It's happening in Leicester on the 21st of January, and you can get yourself tickets now. Come along, have a drink, have a little party with us, meet the authors, have a great night. Sarah is saying she doesn't know how to use TikTok. I, do, I don't know how to use it either. I am literally just winging my way. You can definitely be sure there are going to be more videos. There's going to be many more funny videos. The kids are going to hate me. They're going to be cringing because I am TikTok's new number one fan. Hashtag down with the kids, says Liz. Yes, 100%. Danielle Holmes is saying how amazing the hashtag directory is. So for anybody that hasn't seen them, go and check them out. They're part of the VIP. 1,500 hashtags in each categorized so you can just literally go in there take out the hashtag you want to use put them straight into your instagram post so well worth checking out and hashtag directory number three will be going into vip when it opens at the end of the month um, 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 um what else have we got claire has asked is children's well-being covered oh now you're asking me there are 130 different categories I am not too sure, but I wouldn't, I'd be surprised if it's not, to be fair. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see, are there any more? Liz has just said no more gin for me. I think it's just the excitement of being back. Honestly, it seems like I've not been here for ages. I've got all this Instagram excitement going on inside me and maybe I could do with a gin. Maybe a gin would calm me down a little bit. Nicole has said, I think we need to utilize Instagram stories even with polls, questions to boost engagement. Yes, if you look in my Instagram stories for today or yesterday or Mums in Business Association, there are um, there's a question sticker. So for anybody that watches my Tuesday night lives, I put a question sticker in. So if you have a question, I will answer it live. You can put your question in there. Great way to engage. So yes, Nicole, brilliant way to use engagement stickers. Any, oh, there we go. Brilliant. Danielle Holmes. If you're watching on Facebook, Danielle has dropped the link to the hashtag directories in there. And Stephanie has dropped in the link for the Instagram sales. So you can go and check those out. Over there. Um, Little Rosie Sunshine has said, I've bought the plan up, but not started to use it. I'm not very good with planning um, and I struggle with it. Okay. This is for you. Okay. The planner training, making this year your best year yet. Planner training is for anybody who is struggling if you are feeling overwhelmed if you don't know what you want to do this year if you don't know what your goals are if you have no idea how to get to your goal you have a goal but you don't know how to get there we can help okay it's a training it starts on the 13th of january it's 10 pounds to join it happens in a private facebook group and it's going to be brilliant so you know head on over there and you can win you can win your way into the planner training we will be giving one away at the end of tonight's live so stay tuned. Steph is saying, I miss you. Steph, we miss you too. The UK miss you. Our lovely Leicester ladies miss you. So Steph is now in Romania. She is one of our mibs who was here in Leicester. She has now moved back to Romania where she, um, she originally came from. And she has set networking events up. Woo! We have networking events in Romania as well as 200 other locations around the world. So if you haven't been, to one of our networking events then you need to get to one because they are awesome they are child friendly and they allow you to connect with the most amazing women like all of the women that are on the live tonight so you know what other reasons could you not want to be there for link is also in there for the planner training let's have a look what have we got going on over here on instagram is it worth sharing tiktok videos on instagram asks b bits balloons yes it is so it's a perfect way for you to repurpose your content okay anything that you have you can reshare to different places is going to save you time so for anybody that has seen the tiktok videos that i put onto tiktok yes obviously tiktok videos have gone onto tiktok the tiktok videos that i've shared are actually instagram stories that i've saved and shared throughout the year okay so for anybody that wants to see loads of instagram tips if you go to our highlights on instagram there are like little highlights you can find instagram tips what i've done is gone back into my old content i've screenshotted it or i've shared the videos and then i've put them together and then i put them on tiktok really easy way to repurpose the content that i've already got and i've put it on tiktok not only that once i've created that video i can then reshare it to other places as well so yes you can share 
your TikTok videos all over the place. Make sure that you are cross-promoting from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter to TikTok, wherever you are, let people know on the other platforms how they can get hold of you. This is the perfect way to build your following. Let's have a look. Wouldn't you love one has asked, is Instagram rolling out features in the create mode in stories? I don't see the gifts or on this day feature that others have. Yes. Instagram roll these things out at all different points to all different people. There's some people in the UK that have lost their um, visibility of their likes. They can't see their likes. I still have mine. Um, I have the music feature on one account, but I don't have it on the other account. So Instagram roll these things out. You don't always get all the features um, and nobody knows why. Instagram just do it as they feel. So I hope that answered your question. Um, Layla said, you want to be as famous as me on TikTok, don't you, Estelle? Yes, I do. Shout out to Layla. She got about, I don't know, 10,000 views on one of her videos the other day. Um, she's still not taught me how to use TikTok. In fact, we did a TikTok video on Christmas Day. Layla, if you're watching this, are you embarrassed by me? Why did you not share the video? I worked really hard. I tried my best. I did like, all I want for Christmas. Ooh. Yeah. It took me ages. I literally, I was in the in the bedroom with the girls who are 14 and can dance way better than me. And I put, gave it my all. And she doesn't share it on TikTok. See what I mean? Kids of today. Mrs. 0241118 has asked, is it better to have two separate accounts, personal and business, or can you do it all from one account? Definitely be doing it all from one account, okay? You should be sharing your personal and your business, okay? People want to see the face behind the business. It doesn't need to be business, 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 business all the time. For anybody that hasn't seen, I'm always talking about creating a feast. It's one of like the tips that everybody loves. It stands for fun, educational, ads, stories, testimonials. If you create a feast of content, your followers will keep coming back. They don't just want to see business, 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 sales, buy my shit, buy my shit. Nobody wants to see that. So yes, you can have everything all in one account. The two, the way to, hold on, I can't see it. The way to weight loss. Do you advise reposting other people's posts to increase engagement? Yes, if it is going to add value to your followers, why wouldn't you share it? It saves you time for one, you don't have to create the content. Two, it's giving your followers value and giving them, oh, sorry guys, cut you off over there on Instagram, my battery's running low. So yes, the moral of the story is, yes, you can share out other people's content. Yes, it will help. One, it saves you time. Two, it gives them a little shout out. And three, as long as you're providing value, it doesn't matter where it comes from. So I think I've answered everybody's questions. I'm not sure. Do we have any last stragglers at the end? I knew Danielle would love the feast. It's one of her favorite things that she uses all the time, she tells me. I know. So then, for those of you that have stayed right the way to the end of the first live of 2020, you deserve to be in with a chance to win. A place on the making this year your best year yet. Do you want to win yourself a place? If so, you need to do the following things. I want you to go on over to today's Instagram post on my personal Instagram, okay? Estelle Keeper Official. I want you to go on over there. I want you to write the hashtag Mibber IG Live and tell me what was your best bit about tonight's live. If you comment on today's picture, everyone that comments and leaves the hashtag Mibber IG Live will be entered into a draw and one person will win the training for free. It's only £10. It's literally only £10 anyway. It is the best £10 that you're going to invest in your business this year for real like you spend more on a mcdonald's you spend more on a takeaway you spend more on i don't know you know shit like for real everybody just like frits his money away 10 pounds will be the best investment ever if you join the training making this year your best year yet you get to join the private facebook group you get access to me and leona there are videos every single day you need to be there you're going to have fear of missing out if you're not. So if we have no more questions, and don't forget, you could win a chance. To, you could win a chance. You also have a chance 
to win your way into the VIP if you share a screenshot and have shared tonight's live, okay? You guys over here on Facebook, you know the drill. We always get you sharing. You guys over here, I want to see you sharing, but I also want to see screenshots. You've got to share a screenshot to be in with a chance to win VIP. So, do we have any other questions? Does anybody want to join me live? I did see someone pop up earlier. So, Behaviour Teach has asked, how do you add music to a story? So, okay, again, this depends on your account. Instagram don't give you every single feature, okay? So, you just have to bear with it. I was so frustrated when I realized that I didn't have music in my stories, but then I got it in one of the other accounts. So, it's a really cool feature to have, but you don't always get it, okay? So, if you don't get it, don't be too worried. It's not a problem. It's just Instagram assholes sometimes. So I have all oh, those people wanting to join me. So you guys on Facebook, you're going to have to listen in now, okay? Because I am going to bring someone onto my live with me. Let's see. What is their question? Oh, I can't seem to bring them on. Hold on. Oh, my God. I, there's going to be some really gourmet face shops right now. Here we go. So Tracy. Are you joining me? Maybe she's gone off. I know. I can see someone else that wants to join. So this is the added extra. If you are on Facebook, we don't get to interact with you. If you come over here on Instagram, you get to come on the live with me. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh my goodness, look at your hair. <laughs> Serena, Serena has ginger hair. Oh my goodness. So. For, for you guys, I'm getting all excited and ahead of myself right now. So, for anyone that doesn't know, Serena was, she, you're one of our original MIBs from way, way, way back when. You were one of our authors in our book as well. You've just been to our writing retreat, and I haven't seen her for ages, and now she's just popped up on my screen, and her hair's totally different. That looks awesome. Yes, not long now. So, what is your Instagram question for me, Serena? Okay, I can, it's, a, it's a silly one, okay? So, if Instagram were to go down, Estelle, what would you do for the day and how would you cope with it? I wouldn't cope at all. I would have an absolute meltdown. So, for anybody that's watching this on Facebook, Serena was just asked, what would I do if Instagram went down for the day? I would have a flipping meltdown. Chris would probably try and carry me to bed like a caveman because he gets pissed off with the amount of time that I spend on Instagram. So if I, if I'm always that babe. I'm on Instagram. I've got to do stories. So if I, if I didn't have Instagram stories, so quite possibly Chris could be um, going to connect the internet anytime now. So if we suddenly disappear, we know what's happened. But yeah, I would probably have a meltdown. But the thing is, I've got loads of other places to be as well. And I think that is like, although it's like a fun and a like silly question, an important thing to remember is that could happen. And it does happen quite a lot. Like last year, it happened like six, seven, eight times because of all the updates and stuff that were happening on Instagram. So it's always good to have a backup. So like we were saying, even if you don't use it for business, always have another platform that you can be on. So I'm forever working. If Instagram went down, Leona would be like, get onto Facebook get onto Twitter, get on, like she'd always have somewhere for me to go. So yeah. Thank you for your fun question. You're welcome. See you soon. <laughs> over a week, just over a week. I will see you soon. Bye. There we go. Okay. So it was a little bit of a fun question to finish with there from Serena. So for those of you that didn't hear, she was asking me, what would I do if Instagram went down? I would have an absolute, complete meltdown. But I would head on over to TikTok and make some videos over there, I guess. So I think that is it from me for tonight. Thank you all so much for joining me. It has been amazing. I've seen massive numbers on Instagram watching. You guys over here on Facebook have been awesome as usual. Don't forget there's two different competitions happening today. You can win your way into VIP and we're also giving away a making this year your best year yet plan the training so you can win both of those share a screenshot comment on today's post if you want to find out more head on over to the website or to the Facebook page you can find us everywhere if you're watching this on YouTube 
make sure that you subscribe. And if you're watching this anywhere else, make sure that you're switching your notifications on so that you don't miss me. I am going to be back 8 p.m. next Tuesday. In fact, next Tuesday, what am I doing? <gasps> I'm away for Chrissy's birthday. Chris has a birthday surprise happening. We are going away Tuesday and Wednesday for a secret surprise that Chris has just been trying to get me to tell him. I've told him he needs dance studios and that we're going to Pineapple Dance Studio so that he can learn a wedding dance ready for the day we get married. He's absolutely pooping his pants. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to be away. So look out for either an earlier live or maybe a slightly drunk Instagram live. I, can't, I, I don't even know. I can't even predict it. What I'm saying is watch this space. It may happen. You may wish that it hadn't happened. It may not happen. You may wish that it had. So thank you all so much for watching me. As always, if you are watching this on the replay, hashtag replay. And of course, let me know where you're watching me from. Until next week, I will love you all and leave you. Have the most amazing week. I hope you've had the best start to your new year. And I will see you all very soon.